We are streaming. I am back. What's up, everybody? Hola, mi gente. Welcome back to Sorry Not Sorry. I'm looking at my screen, and my screen is going bananas right now. Do you see this? Do you see I, this, I, beautiful? I do see that. I do see that. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm going to pray to God that this works for me right now because I'm back after two weeks, and I miss you guys. I hope you guys missed me. There's a lot going on, as usual. But let's start it off the right way. This is episode 14, and I call this one, Who's That Girl? Oh, and I wonder why. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's that girl? Would that be me? That would be you, baby. And of course, for those that don't know and living under a rock somewhere, I don't know where, my special, special, and I don't even want to call you a guest because you're family, my special <laughs> co-host. Of the evening is the stunning, the multi-talented Miss Linda Lynn. Oh my God! Hola, mommy. What an introduction! <laughs> I love it. Hello, mommy. What's up? Ya tú sabes, huepa uh, thing, baby. Yeah, I am wepa. So happy you're here. Thank, thank you, you so much. No, thank you for having me. Kidding I love me? it. Thank We're you. We're gonna get into a lot with you today because I'm gonna have you. You Uh-oh. know you're at the round table. Uh-oh. So I have questions to ask on behalf of my people. <coughs> on behalf of me. Oh, boy. Let me <laughs> Putting you in the hot seat. Oh. All right. Should I get some of this? Yeah, yeah. Sip, wh- wh- sip, wh- wh- sip. Wh- wh- sip, sip a little bit. But you know how this goes because you're a Strong Island family. So, bills got to get paid. And we're going to go straight into our sponsors. And, of course, we always start off with the man, Easy Mo B. Super shout out to Easy Mo B. Everything What's up? Mo. Shout out. You already know Mo loves some Linda Lynn. Okay. Yes, well, not formally, but okay. <laughs> he loves you. Super, <laughs> super shout out to Easy Mo B. Check him out everywhere. The man is literally all over the place. He's doing the clubs in all New York. He's traveling. He's like I said, he's everywhere. This man is literally everywhere. So go into my site. You will see the calendar for tonight. We just show you mad love as usual. So go follow Moby at Easy Moby on all social media platforms and on Facebook, Austin Harvey Jr. Okay, and you see the email, Easy Mo Records at Gmail. You could send it. He replies if he likes it. If he doesn't, then, you know, I get Thank yelled you. at. Why are you sending okay. me that? <laughs> so anyway, super love to you, Moby. Who do we have next? Of course, Greaseball Activities. Super shout out to Greaseball Activities, House of Fire NYC. Check him out on Instagram, Greaseball Activities. I know my House of Fire is somewhere up there before the next one comes up, but I don't know what happened. But, um... There we go. (laughs) Super shout out again to Mr. Fuego, House of Fire Studios, recording studio for your recording, mixing, and editing needs. And also, he does videos, photography. So check him out on House of Fire NYC on Instagram. He is very much on Instagram all the time, responds very quickly. So DM House of Fire Studios NYC until Fuego Miss Cookie sent you. All right. Yes, Yes. And of course... My newest sponsor, number one supporter out from California. I have to definitely send super, super love. Thank you so much for always holding me down, always being there. Blocks, you heard, of course. They, we met throughout the Blocks, you heard, which is, you know, the stunts crew that I deal with. But check out Doc's Garage Works. Again, 909 572-0352 572-0352 for your powder coating. The man does amazing work. He'll ship out. You could go pick up. You could wherever you are. Just give him a call. Tell him Miss Cookie sent you. Much love, Doc. Much, much love to California. As you can see, the information is up there again. Doc's Garage Works, 909-572-0352. And if you or anyone you know is interested in sponsoring the show and my brand, you can reach me at DM on Instagram. You can email me all your information. And it's Joanna La Reina on Instagram. Miss Cookie the Queen. Second to none entertainment. If I'm going too fast, catch up. All right. But email me at Joanna Strong Island. And I'll get back to you with more information. 
see the delays on the cameras. It's like I'm like, my eyeballs are all over the place. And that's why I always tell people, sorry, not sorry, because sometimes, you know, that's the way it happens, especially in this media, and we go live, and it's like, uh, that's just the way it is. And we continue. Again, thank you so much for everyone who's tuning in. I'm going to be checking up on the chat room in a little bit. What do we have (laughs) going on next? We have to, you know this, Black History Month, baby, that's right. A lot of people don't know that, but Puerto Ricans have Black History yeah, Month I've, as well. Well, they never promote it as, so. And yeah, that's a whole other conversation because you know this. You mm-hmm. know how people always see us as, oh, okay, we're Latinos, we're there. but if you really get down to it and you look, you, you, you listen, research, you read, whatever it is, you hear people say, oh, no, but Puerto Ricans, Boricuas, you know, they're Morenos, they're this. We're Black, uh, European, and Native Remix, American, yeah. mm-hmm. okay. To me, as a Boricua, as a Puerto Rican, a New York Rican, as you, I'm a Taina. That to me, that's the bloodline, that's the roots, you know. And we are Native, so a lot of people don't get when they say, "Oh, you're not," you know. Yeah, we have, we actually have Black History Month also right. in Puerto Rico, and a lot of Americans don't celebrate it like that. Just like we said um, during the holiday seasons, that the Three Kings are also the same thing. You know, a lot of people thought it came from Mexico. No, it's right. Puerto Rico. Like, <laughs> why everybody Rican, always mixing yeah. us up with Mexicans? No offense. Right. I mean, yeah, Latinos are Latinos. But we're Caribbean. We're an island. Yeah. We're not South America, okay? So people always like, oh, what do you mean by you're this, you're that? Listen. You know what? But I, I feel like um, it kind of goes the same a little bit. Mm. Like, let's just say, I'm not, of course, no offense, but mm. like, Asians, right? Mm-hmm. You say Asians, like so. You do you really know, like exactly. you know? Uh, it's so the versatile, right? It's like, there's so. Uh, but is there any pure I, breed anymore? Nobody, nobody's pure breed. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's it's like, a like we're mix, all you know? mutts, you know. So. And it, <laughs> it's a rarity. You have all these um, DNA uh, one, two, threes, or whatever the hell they call them. What uh, ancestry is it? Ancestry? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, absolutely. And you come out with like a span of all of kinds. I'm like, never know. On. And it's so funny you say that because um, so my son, as mm-hmm. you know, you know, so he did boxing at one point, mm-hmm. and um, so his his nickname uh-huh. um, when he boxed yeah. was. Um, Gianni half breed Padone. So no. his name was half breed. I love <laughs> he is. He is. So, but it's Italiano, so, Italiano. But yeah, yeah, you know, uh, half no. Breed. To he's me, I me. think he does. He's all me. He's all you? He's all me. No, yo. Yes. He's mama's boy. Yes, yes. he is. <laughs> I know. I so, have my boy. Uh, so it's so funny that I, I use that word loosely. It doesn't offend me in any way. I think some people might have a problem with that word. Like, mm-hmm. half free, why? You, it's like a derogatory you, oh. or you're like making it. I'm like, it's just a fun name. You mm-hmm. know, it's just fun. You make if you, start, if you read too much into it, you know. Well, it's that's the problem like, with people that they read too much into things, yeah, and instead like, of just letting it, you, you know, let you have fun with it. You're you're from two different um, nationalities, mm-hmm. so you mix them together, you know. So you have freedom, you know, in that field, the fighting it's field. Better to be went, that way, yeah. It went well, you know. So I think it was pretty funny. At least he's, I love it. He's half breed. It's not like my kids. They're like a paella. Yeah. Like, it's like the United <laughs> Nations in my house. You know, I mean, all the same daddy, but Colombian, Ecuadoriano, Puerto Rican. Col- it's Silly, and it's like a, a mezcla of just everything. But oh, yeah, yeah. moving on, <laughs> listen, I want to take time out, okay, for everyone who's going through some type of mental. Uh, they again, I don't like labeling it, but they consider it mental disorders and um, chemical imbalances. When you're having a hard time, whether you are diagnosed with any kind of um, illness disease, whatever it is, we all go through things in life. And especially nowadays, there's so much going on. I mean, you cannot turn around without it. You could laugh for one minute. The next minute, it's somebody's dying. Somebody's getting killed. Someone's hurt. Yeah, It's just too much. Right. So I want to take time out every opportunity I have and every platform I have to make sure that everyone reaches out to people, the ones that they love, the ones that they don't even know, you know, and they see them having a hard time. You know what? You'd be surprised what a few moments of your time could actually do to a person, you know? And from experience, both, you know, at home, 
myself had gone through it. And I, as I tell people, I am a survivor and I speak about it openly because it's very important. Again, it might be that little girl out there. It might be that young man. It might be somebody who is just about to do it and you could just totally, you know, save them or right. change something about it. So take the time out, people, to be a little more considerate and understand the people's, you know, situations or just have a heart, you know, be kind, be understanding. It could be your loved one. It could be you, you know, and sometimes people are so annoyed by the closest. It's always the ones closest to you that push you away. And it's sad. Right. But it's like anything. If somebody keeps, you know, and you're like... That's going to annoy Bobby in a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to be like, ah. So it's just like that. It goes both ways. You know, you get either. you Okay, I, again, I lost everything. <laughs> you could either be there for them or at least have the, you know, have them reach out to someone or someone reach out to them. Right. So just take the time out to be a little more considerate, people. You know, show love to one another. Life is way too short for us to be bitter angry oh my god I, uh, uh, I was just saying that to myself I just had like a, a, on my way here mm-hmm. I had like a, a talk to myself mm-hmm. you know I had like a, you know oh, you do a that th- too? I had a therapy <laughs> session with I myself you have to and um, I was just saying the same it was just like you know life is too short life you just never know and, and, and it doesn't pay when you're angry and say things you don't mean. Mm. Um, well, when you're angry, that's the time when people do say I, things. Exactly. So. And it's horrible. You know why? Because, you know, that, that little um, angry monster comes out mm-hmm. that you have really no control of sometimes. Mm. And you just like let it out. And then after a while, the day or two after you start, like a person like me, I, I start Your very, start, yeah, very like, guilty. Mm-hmm. Of, even though they could have deserved it or not, mm-hmm. I don't think it makes it right. And I never can uh, feel good about myself yeah. that I made somebody else feel um, you got terrible. You, got you know, heart. I do have a heart. And, you your know? conscience. And, and you're Libra, right? I am a Libra. Por eso. Yeah. The balance. So, you know, so it's important, like, you know, you have to start, like, whatever's bothering you, let it go. Let mm. go of bitterness. Let go of all, you know, animosity. Let go and let God. And honestly, that's another thing regarding that whole, you know, mental illness or the depression or whatever it may be, suicide. It stems from not being able to control those thoughts Mm -hmm. and and you have to learn to do that and one of the things I've when I talk to myself all the time okay I talk to myself and I talk to God and and you'll hear me full blown this woman's crazy and and I get that a lot and I don't care because at the end of the day who better you know who knows you better than yourself first of all and God you know, your creator, whatever you believe in, as long as it's a positive thing. Listen, you speak and sometimes you'll hear yourself out loud. You ever heard, you hear when people say, well, I actually heard myself and what I sound like. Or Listen, what. you have no idea what I go through. Mm. Um, I have my family uh, people staring at me like out of the blue and they're like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm like, like <laughs> what? They're like, oh my God, you're like talking to yourself. I'm like, yeah. I'm just thinking out loud yep. you know i'm just mm-hmm. like reenacting yep. stuff i'm you know I, well, so it's just let's find out who's on the phone who's calling and where you're calling from hello hello miss joanna this is joanna angel Barry cologne hi joanne how are you, are you tonight? yes we're late we're late good right? good welcome back <laughs> it's I'm been so a long you time are tonight i'm looking forward to your show Yes, yes. My daughter, I was just watching and I said, oh, this is the perfect time for me to hop on. As you were just speaking about everyone needing to have a heart and being more compassionate Mm -hmm. to one another. Exactly. (laughs) I thought it was definitely a good time to jump in. So, uh, yeah, so we all definitely need to uh, support one another and definitely be there for each other, you know, through the ups and downs, through the ups and downs. And And Joanne, what do you recommend now? Because you're a spiritual healer. With this yeah. whole, uh, what's the retrograde going on now? Like, what can you tell us? Why is this energy all over the place? I mean, this is worse than the last one. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, just from today's energy alone, I just did a live video earlier this afternoon about today's energy. If you take the actual day to the date today, uh huh. There are three. There were actual three master numbers that make that come out of today's date. 
And when we talk about master numbers, it's a number that repeats itself, such as the number 11, which is today's date. Yes. And when we have those numbers and we have three of them in this state, it means the portals are open. And when our portal is open, it means we have the opportunity to really stepping into our higher purpose and self. Mm -hmm. But at the same token, what tends to happen for many is when we have that opportunity to level up, I like to call it the gremlin. The gremlin comes out and sets fears <laughs> into place. Did you and just say is, gremlin? That, that's a lot of thought to uh, yeah. you know, process. A lot of people wouldn't understand that if they're not open to that kind, you know. Yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. like like I would, I would understand, you would understand, you know. Uh, so, so definitely... Um, Tell the, me, the, yeah, yeah I, gotta, I, I was going to say, tell me something about tomorrow's day. Tomorrow's very important well, to me because yeah, it's the first time your, your I'm birthday. in. What happened? Yeah, tomorrow's your birthday. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, 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 yes. But you were asking about Mercury retrograde and just want to touch on that and then we'll dive into your birthday. Ah. So the Mercury <laughs> retrograde is all about when we, when the energy of the planet is all about communication, traveling, scheduling, and planning. Mm -hmm. But the key component there is the communication. Right. And when a planet goes retrograde, it just means the energy of that planet slows down. Mm. So it's really a reflecting period and it's, it's a moment to like, Think about things that, that, like making decisions. So rather than making the decisions so rapidly, mm -hmm. it's really a time to like take time to like tease up mm -hmm. and think about it before you decide to say yes or no to something. Okay. And we'll have we'll have this energy for three weeks. This goes until March 9th. <laughs> Jesus, so three weeks! <laughs> I need a reading like that in private. Yeah, we need we need private readings. What I need to what no. I. What I've been doing for the last year, it actually expired today. It was exactly a year oh. ago. I told myself that I'm going to communicate more. And with that being mm. done throughout the whole year, I felt that now that I grew with the communication, the comprehension wasn't there from the other people in, that I tried to communicate with. Where usually I would just, you know, the crazy will come out. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> I decided, okay, you know what? I'm going to start communicating because it is important to be able to express yourself calmly, rationally as an adult. And I did that. Yes. And yes. I felt like exactly. it did not work in any way whatsoever. Well, there, well, there's two parts of what we call communication. Mm -hmm. There's communication where we actually speak. Mm -hmm. And then there's communication where we actually get a chance to listen. Mm. And sometimes when we want to communicate with to someone, they may not be open to hearing what needs to be said. Mm -hmm. So it's really about learning how to listen. And when I, when I use the word listen, mm -hmm. it's not li listening to the words a person is going to say, but listening to what they don't say. Mm. And that's really important because sometimes a person can say a lot by saying nothing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I agree yeah. with that. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So so when we talk about Mercury retrograde, it's really a, a reflection period. Mm -hmm. And with this particular Mercury retrograde, it, and I'm just going to step into this, may confuse everybody, but it's okay. This is in um, what we call the 12th house. And that's relating to Pisces energy, which mm -hmm. is what I am. Yep. And it's all about the spirituality and also the beginnings and endings and karmic energy as well and making decisions. So all of that is sped up in this Mercury retrograde of us just reflecting and taking time to think before doing. Hmm. And now we got your birthday tomorrow, my darling. Please you tell me. Very powerful. Yes, you have a very powerful day tomorrow because it's your birthday. Hmm. It is your birthday. It is your day that you are reborn. You're going to start a whole new, what I like to call nine-year cycle. Hmm. Because when we have a birthday, it's like a nine-year cycle. You just freaked me and out. But go ahead. I'll, I'll yeah. explain to you why that freaked me out later after the show. But go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. And when we think about your actual day tomorrow and your personal energy, which is a nine, which mm -hmm. is what tomorrow's day is, it's a nine. Mm -hmm. So this is your year to transform. This is your year to let go of the old version of you mm -hmm. and step into this major new version of who you are becoming 
and transitioning and evolving um, into a whole different level. So my favorite word for 2020 is leveling up, and this is what you're here to do. We are leveling. But understanding, making notes of that nine energy, Mm -hmm. it's not going to be a process where things are going to flow easily. You're going to have a lot of ups and downs throughout the year. What else is new, (laughs) Joe? It's my life. (laughs) I'm like a roller coaster. Yes. So because of that nine energy with the ups and downs, Mm -hmm. the the positive side of things will be that you are going to have a lot of ups Mm. as long as well as the downs, but you are going to come out of this transformation with in such an amazing way that you're going to evolve Mm. and and transform to be a better version of who you are. And that's powerful. Well, that sounds great. And I love you for that. And I thank you for that, Joanne, from your mouth to God's ears. My pleasure. Yes, always. always. All right, Joanne, tell everybody where they can find you. Well, they can find me right there on Strong Island as Mm -hmm. I have two shows. I have my... TV show, which is Joanne Healing Within, on Sundays at 3 p.m. And then I will be there tomorrow night, which is Wednesdays, the second Wednesday of the month for Joanne's Cosmic Energy at 5 p.m. Nice. And that's where they can find me. Wow. And of course, in Queens, at my uh, studio, Holistic Fitness. That's right. Which is on in uh, Orbindo, Queens. And what's the contact number there? They can reach me, 646-236- Nine one five five. All right, Joanne. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for calling in, and thank you for that reading. We will talk My tomorrow, pleasure. love. Yes, yes. Have a good night, and welcome to your guests too. Bye, bye. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> bye, bye. I love Joanne. She always yeah, brings absolutely. that. Yeah, she, she brings. Oh, it. I'm definitely gonna want my private meeting now Listen. because. You need it. We all need I to know. get that. Like, I love to hear it. Love. I already know it, but I love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, real quick, because I don't want to take the whole night up with, you know, just me, me, me. Oh, you it's know? all about you, mommy. It's no, your birthday. So. No, 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 no. But you, <laughs> I'm super excited and I'm proud to, um, to have made it to the 20 top pick for Ink Magazine. Ooh, yes, yes, absolutely. And I am That's super right. stoked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, really? I was like, good thing for Photoshop. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Honestly, look, these pictures are some of the pictures that we took behind yes. the scenes. But let me tell you something. Fire. These are not Photoshopped, except that there might be some like little areas that were covered up by, you know, uh, little stuff. Hot, but hot. not Photoshopped whatsoever. So there's few categories. You know, you got the girls that are like gorgeous dolls and stuff and you know I'm you gorgeous in like my a own gorgeous way doll too, so. <laughs> I appreciate it but yeah very risque That's and okay. I was like oh Jesus here we go and um, I'm very proud and there you go on the screen for those that can't see and are just listening you go to Inked Magazine Cover Girl all right, and you go either on Facebook or um, Instagram and you'll see it there as well but you have to go on this site the poll started today. So voting started today at I 11. Voted. I love you. Thank you. I'm so overwhelmed where to the point where I actually sat there and cried because a, a, my one of my very best friends who's not even here, um, she's way on the other side in Cali. She hits me up and she goes, girl, you third already. Ah. I'm like, what? She sends me the thing. So on my category, I was in third place. I mean, it goes up, it goes down. It was fluctuated, but it was staying on three for the most part. So I love you guys so very, very much. And I thank you guys for that because vote, I need vote, you guys vote. voting. <laughs> I need the votes. I need them. I need the support. I need the love. I appreciate it. It is Every day you get to vote once every day till the 20th and then they'll announce the next winner and this is going on till April so okay. I'm super excited yeah, of course. but the voting Everyone, for me to vote. Yep, yep the voting for me to continue till April means that you guys please show the support every day it takes literally a couple of minutes it's Absolutely. not even it's not that difficult Let's I go people the Stop being lazy go, vote bang. and then you know if you want to be generous and kind you could also buy more votes so in other words you can hit the link give them a donation for one of their um causes and they actually give you more votes to do on there the day there you go hello so people help a cause feel wake up and help a girl you know so That's thank right. you so much for that and of course super shout out to blaze the mic 
NYC. Miss Colors, my sister, she's throwing me a birthday bash on the 22nd. And um, I'm super excited about that. Awesome. It's in Brooklyn. Again, I would love to give you all the information. The information is on the screen. It is also on my Facebook. You can check that out. It's also on blazethemiknyc.com. And um, as, again, co-host of the evening with Miss Colors, it's also Big J's birthday. And we'll be celebrating his birthday. There'll be two gifts. I think it's two, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yep, here we go. We have two winners that night from the performances. And out of the two winners, they're going to be at Power 105.1. For an awesome. interview, magazine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So shout out to Power 105.1 and Power Absolutely. Industry, who yes. will be in the building that night. It's going to be a star-studded night. We have special guest appearances. We have, as I said, me and Colors will be hosting. Me and Cutters is going to go on stage. It's a little surprise. Oh, boy. But it's going to be a little fun fun it's there. Little fun, <laughs> fun. It's a little fun fun. So definitely check us out. Uh, February 22nd, 10 p.m. And it is in the Wickedness Lounge, figures. Wickedness Lounge. But and it's a love concert. So it's at 171. <laughs> my love, my concert. love concert. 171-02 Jamaica Avenue in Queens. Again, 171-02 Jamaica Avenue in Queens. Check us out. February 22nd. It's a Saturday. And of course, music by DJ Switch. So much Ooh. love to him. All righty. Let's take a moment out real quick. I want to say hello, hello to everybody in the check-in. Thank you so much. Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Your girl, what's Chrissy. Oh, what's up, Chrissy? Kenny. I see you. Kenny BX. Stand up. Olivia London. I see you. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. Steve Vaccaro. Hola. How are you? Joanne. She was just on the phone. Oh, I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Share, 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 share. Show us some love. And I appreciate it. What we got going on next over here? That's the one. I have, and I was telling you about this. I have um, a Youth Empowerment Summit coming up. Mm -hmm. So April 4th at 429 JFK Center Boulevard in Willingboro, New Jersey. And that is in behalf of my sister, Christina Iorio. And recently, we just got Jay Christopher to join us. And he's going to be speaking about the bullying and what he experienced right. and what he goes through. And he's a funny man, so he's right. going to be entertaining the kids. That's awesome. So he's going to be there in behalf of Jay Christopher, right. Strong Island Entertainment, and myself. And I will be there speaking with the girls, the young girls, and letting oh, them know how it is to be how I am today and I'm still got more to go but mm -hmm. I want to lead by example by showing them no I didn't have my mom no I didn't have a dad you know they were right. there but they weren't etc 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 but these girls need to see that they could of make course. it they don't have to go you Absolutely. know the other way and I didn't Right. Where most of the girls my age at that time, Absolutely. fending for themselves, they all went left or not even here today. All right. So I'm very honored. And um, also the main subject that we're going to be speaking about is media and how they feel. They, you know, they feel different. They don't feel they're like, oh, she's so pretty. And I'm not like and I say it all the time. And I want to talk to them because the fact is, is I used to do that. I used to be like, wow, but they're pretty. I don't want to go on there. I don't want to post my picture. You know, I don't look like that. Right. Stop competing with one another. Absolutely. And don't just, compare yourself. Yeah, don't. Because you know what? We're all unique and we're all beautiful in every way. In every, we are all beautiful. Amen. I don't... It doesn't matter if you have scars, if you have, you know, any, any deformity, like they say, or flaws or whatever. You're beautiful. You are you. There's no one else like you. And just because someone doesn't see that or others don't see that, you need to see that yourself. So one thing I do to myself is I look in the mirror mm -hmm. and I say, okay, I want to look better. I want to do this. I want right. to, that's fine. Of you know, and, and you can do whatever you have. You, we have so many options nowadays, you know, All right. but... If you're not feeling good inside, it's not going to work. So feel good inside, love yourself, and it's going to be all right. So I can't wait for that. Amen. So much. Can I, can I get to the important part now? Can I get to the, to the sexy woman? Uh, where? Right up there. Look at that pic. Wait till you Ooh. see this. 
Oh, Jesus hey, Christ. Hey, that's what I said. You had to put some clothes on me. You're going to b- promote you me. You told me that today. You were like, put some clothes on me. I'm like, no, no, no. I saw Mommy, that. She didn't put no clothes on me. She Ladies got me all naked gentlemen. up there. Miss Linda, Lin- look at that. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. 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 <laughs> Let me know why I don't post those pictures on Facebook. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Then so this was a recent photo shoot. If, again, Linda Lynn. Hello. Hola. Hola. Could be you TV. Oh, wow. Well, uh, hello. You're everywhere and I love it. Ah, yes, kind of. Well, it's <laughs> kind of good. Yeah, I am, and I? You are, you are. <laughs> this was a recent photo shoot of you. Yes. All right. And um, yeah, they see the Who's That Girl up there. We're going to be talking about that next. You know I love that song. Everywhere oh I go, I'm like, ah. Oh, my God. I walk in the club and it's all eyes on me. Right? <laughs> all eyes on me. You killed it. So, the new photo shoot. Mm-hmm. And I, I kind of read a little cash. Are you working on some new stuff? I am. Mm-hmm. I am. I'm working on new stuff. That was an opportunity, actually. I want to give a big shout out to, um, I don't know, just like you, I don't know how to call him. He's more than family. He's like my yeah, little yeah. brother. Give my shout out to, I say he's my photographer, my mm-hmm. media guy, my video. He's practically my everything. Right. And I know that I don't give him as much love Aww. as I should. He's a pain in my butt, but you know that's what brothers oh, he's do, family I guess. Then. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and I love him so much, but shout out to Wilson, okay. you know. Uh, Wilson, or as many know him by his real name, mm-hmm. Sex. That's his I, name? That's his name. S E K S. We have a conversation about this all the time. We just had this conversation. I will not, and I refuse to call him by his first that's name. That's why you call him Wilson? I call him Wilson. Yes, I do. How do you but get anyway, the name Sex? Like, that's a whole and, other and thing. And I don't know because he is, you know, he is um, Latino as well. Oh, yeah? Yes, he is. Sex. So. Uh, it's, it's that's probably on another show, I guess, yeah, uh-huh. where his name and history came from. But um, I'll have him call it. Yeah, but um, he's my everything. Basically, every time uh-huh. I do, um, either is myself as an artist, mm-hmm. where he's at my shows, at events, shooting, or when I do the TV show, could be UTV. Mm-hmm. He's the main media guy, and nice. he's always holding it down for me. And once in a while, when we have some free time, because actually those photos were taken in Florida. Okay. When we had an event out there. Um, I saw you, yeah. Wait, who was that guy you was with? That very famous um, producer. Was it Amadeus or something like that? You was out there. That was the day. So, um, I mean, like I said, you're everywhere. I, that was I, your yeah, birthday I that to... I saw you. That was oh, another time. Oh, right, exactly. That was a whole other time. Never mind. It's just cause... so. So, well, you mentioned Amadeus. Let's mm-hmm. give him a big shout out because I was just talking to him not 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 too lo- long oh, you ago. See, that's and fine. Because I've been wanting to have him on my show, and uh, Amadeus claims that we're too far. What? Yeah, coming Man, from the you Bronx. You know you got a G5 right, somewhere. So, like a G- so <laughs> I said, we're going to have to work something out. And how funny that that is, uh, because he hit me up after he seen that I was in Justina Valentine's music video oh, now this he past won't weekend. You. He's like, but now the funny thing is that, so he actually produced the song. But... For just thing that I was doing, he produced, he produced the, song. the song. Now, for those that because yeah. we're sitting here talking like you guys are not even here, but I love you, Justina Valentine, Wild and Out. Yes, you are the lead. <laughs> I mean, I, there's girls out there looking like some, like, you oh were ready to, like, God. throw down. That was insane. Boxing. I said, at first I was like, ooh, what's Justina do to Linda? Yeah. Wait a minute, what uh, happened? And then I'm looking, and I, I know I had it. I know. Did you put the picture up, Bobby, for them to see with Linda and the girls? I just snapped because this picture is everything. I love okay. it. Okay, yeah. I love it because it was, like, you and... and, and I just, I don't understand. I, I don't well, know. When I saw it, I can't wait to see the video. I know. Me too. Well, let's give a shout out to my girl, uh, Tiffany. Tiffany Castillo, Tiffany Castillo with TM um, Talent. That's my girl. That's my other, uh, that's my female everything. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she did the casting mm-hmm. for um, the music video. So she just said, okay, you're going to be um, a fighter and just, you know, Valentine's music video. I was like, okay. Okay. Like, <laughs> I'm okay. there. Like, I'm there. Like, no problem. But, uh, you How know, little did I know. How fun was that? Little did I know, I thought I was just going to go in and be just like standing and fight, you know, but like a whole, but like an extra, you mm. know, because I, I'm, I'm kind of like wet in my feet into doing a lot of extra work right now. Um, so I'm doing, you know, as you know, uh, uh, being an extra in the movie Hustlers uh, kind of gave me that, 
that jump start to really say, wow, I can do this. You know, it's fun. Yeah. It'll get me, you know, it, it opened the doors. You know, I have. So I said, okay, I'll do any anything to get me out there. So, mm-hmm. but little did I know that uh, I was actually going to, uh, I have a character because the, mm-hmm. the, the music video is based on a uh, video game. Oh, that's what, that's what it's being transformed okay. as. So I'm actually, well, a video, I'm actually a video game character. Awesome. So, awesome. you know, one of the, so basically. But you look like you really, and I see you I, throw jabs. <laughs> and mind you, I, a lot of people don't know that either. I've done a lot of stuff, but I used to box right. when I was younger. In my 20s, I did mm-hmm. a lot of box. So I'm looking at you, I'm looking at her jab. Go, go, Linda. You know, <laughs> I, I think it's just something, I think it's, um, no, I've never boxed before, mm-hmm. but I, I've done boxing training. I've seen you, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, I've seen you well, in the ring. Well, Who right. are you lying well, to? <laughs> Who are you lying well, to? Well, there's a training aspect of it, right. you know, in the gym and trying to go mm-hmm. out. And I feel like that is an awesome um, way to get your exercise in. And Absolutely. actually, we're going to give another shout out to my um, my boy, my homie, uh, Chris. Um, That's right. right. I saw you guys Chris doing all the oh from the ECF gym. Yes. Um, in Lindbrook and you were in the ring then too I mean so, I, I, well yes uh, so we're going to be collaborating mm-hmm. on some stuff awesome. and uh, well, we're going to be having him shortly um, also on my show it could be UTV awesome. uh, promoting a new another sh- uh, fight that he has coming up okay. so in return um, I'm going to be um, working out at his gym oh. you know I'm going to be, be training with over. him so um, I definitely want to do uh that type of you know that 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 type of exercise to me mm-hmm. is what works better for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I go to the gym because I know I have to go to the gym. Yeah. I don't go to the gym because I love it. Like some people, that's what they live for. Yeah. They breathe it, they mm-hmm. eat it. They you know, good for you. You know, right, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's what you do. That's I, your I, thing. I I know that in order for me to maintain and to look good, mm-hmm. I have to do it. You know, so it's oh, it's it. a struggle to get up in the morning to go. You know, yeah, but. It's just like when you have you're working with the weights, mm-hmm. and then you and then you have some people who are doing the whole uh, CrossFit, right? Um, and then you have the people who are, they make fun of people the CrossFit, but the CrossFit people are really in good shape. Exactly. And, you know, so it's like you gotta find your niche mm-hmm. and what is it you like to do. And I feel like I'm more um, I'm more active mm-hmm. when I'm doing something that's fun, right? You know, and I'm out there and I'm doing something different. Like you love oh, your cardio too. I'm 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 all about. Like, I, I'm an outdoors girl. So, you know, I like doing, like, when I do the, um, you know, um, these races, you mm-hmm. know, the tip of my tongue right now, I can't even... Uh, what, track? You ran track or something? No, no, not the run track. When I did the, like, the... Um, I'm like... I'm like... I have a great <laughs> <part> right now. <laughs> it's all right. But the, that's part of your workout routine. Like, do you have a routine that you deal with every day or you just want to go... Like whenever you, because I know how well, it is. I'm Sometimes gonna, when I, we I, getting I ready to definitely. hit the stage or or gonna do, I, but a, I don't want to do that when I'm just gonna hit the stage. I want to do that as part. I really do want to get into mm-hmm. regimen, but something that I enjoy getting up and not like, oh my god, I got to the gym because you know it gets monotonous if you mm-hmm. keep doing you know the same and you know, treadmill and then you lift some weights and you know a routine. And then yeah, right. and then I'll go you know and I'll and I'll do a class or two either Zumba or, or do you some do yoga. The classes. Okay. Yeah, but I want to do more. I'm more. I think I have um. You know, I'm more active and I'm like, I need more, gotcha. I need more. So I like to do, you know, like the Spartan race is what I was trying to say. Oh, so okay. I do like the Spartan races, you know, wow. and, I, and I train for that. And But it's exciting because you're doing, you know, the whole military style, mm. you know, um, Listen, camp, girl, I used to do you know? Taibo. All right, I go back. Yeah, so well, <laughs> that's it. it. <laughs> so you know, I, I enjoy that. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and any, that fascinates me. You know, mm-hmm. so I definitely, you know, gonna, uh, I'm looking forward to um, getting in the gym and hitting. You know, well, I'm looking forward to <laughs> hearing more music from you and seeing you because you just did a couple this past um, year alone. I seen you hit the biggest stages with. The biggest people, the freestyle artists that we all love yes. and admire. And um, you up there looking like, uh, I don't know, like some otherworldly. And I'm like, I have mommy wepa. Because you're like <laughs> in there. And, and you you just, your outfits, your, your, your hair, everything. What does it take for Linda Linda to prepare? Not only like <laughs> your, your glam, but mentally. How do you prepare for 10,000 people um, in a freaking, you know... You know what? I don't think there is a way on to... You. I don't think there's a way to prepare. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you kind of like, you know, uh, just... I kind of like go with the flow, but You're yeah, so I have humble. An idea. So you're telling me you just get out of bed and be no, like, okay, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go. No, I'm no. ready. I mean, you know, no, I do. I'm not saying I don't prepare. Of course you do. But what I'm trying to say is like, um, you know, it, it's like a, a drug. It's like an mm, adrenaline. It's like, an like, adrenaline. Oh my God, like mm-hmm. I'm actually, you know, I'm going to be out on the... And, you know, with my shows, I try to be... Um, bring a different element every time I do a mm-hmm. show so every show it's I different. have to make sure that I step it but up but it's also notch. different yeah every single show I see you to, it's I, never the because same because it has to outdo the last show mm. especially if I perform in the same arena okay I'm like okay that last time I did yeah. this now I gotta up it up now and I, because usually um, in this be- in, in, when I do the big arenas and mm-hmm. the big stadiums um, I'm usually the opener to the show yeah. you know and as an opener, I think that's one of the hardest parts and the hardest job because, you know, you have to, like, prep the audience. Exactly. And know? it's, like, all eyes on you. Exactly. And hello. You know, it's like they're waiting. And then, you know, as an up-and-coming artist, I'm still a newcomer, so right. a lot of people still trying to, um, you know, they're still getting to know who Linda Lynn they is. They love you. I've seen and them behind stage. They, you get, 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 right, but there's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> but there's still a lot of people who um, who are still, you know, getting mm-hmm. to know who Linda Lynn is. So I have to come in with a bang. Mm, you right. know, I have to come in like you gotta right. leave that impression on and, them and, to and know. And prepping them up for the, mm-hmm. the you know the show of the night. Mm-hmm. And I want to make sure that they pump because if I come in all like okay, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Or I'm mm-hmm. too. Then it's like they're not in the mood now. And, yeah, you know, no, they're but like you come out. So there. I had to come up and make sure that I got them hyped and prep mm-hmm. and so that's why I gotta come in different and, mm-hmm. and, and you know when they see visually something different that exactly. they've never seen before mm-hmm. that alone and then I you know so it's very important that's what I always tell people I like people. to be creative as an artist you have to be creative you have to come out there when, when everyone tells me you know I'm the VP of the record label and I'm also an artist and I throughout my whole life when I hear people come to me oh you know this this that uh, how, do, how do I you know make you're not gonna make it in the industry if you're not a whole package and I don't know how to explain that to people or some people get offended that's why I kind of backed off with the management because I'm one of those boot camp managers and I'm letting you know <laughs> you know this is what they want right. so are you doing this only for you or are you going to do it because you want your audience to you know Right. so I'm not saying you know guys wear a thong or, or you know unless that's your thing <laughs> you know a girl and the audience you got to make sure that you know, they're in the like, right audience exactly. because <laughs> it's like you got to have the look you have to have the style you have to have the talent you know that doesn't mean you have to go and and be excessive or whatever just make your brand be mm-hmm. who you are you know what i'm saying like just be, bring it i mean bring it right and just, then but my whole thing about it is just, and on um, stage oof. you don't have to have i don't feel like you have to have a lot going on mm-hmm. you just gotta know how to use it you right. know so i believe that confidence is number one Absolutely. as to how people are perceiving you yeah. and how are you you know because you can have all the gimmicks in the world you can have the best outfit you can have the best hair you and can you have do. the best song you, you can have everything and if you don't bring it you know and let them show that it's coming from you then right. it's just like but that's with crickets, you okay you know? so when I see Linda on stage okay cause I see Linda here obviously <laughs> you know and I know my girl you know she's like I'm my little peace girl you know and I love you so much your energy but when I see you on the stage it's dancers, it's hype man, it's hair, it's dancing, <laughs> it, it's it, it's outfits, it's the whole shebang. And I know that doesn't take a day. No, no, of course not. And once again, shout out to uh, TM Talent um, mm-hmm. for always, you know, with the dancers, they always come prepared. They always, you know, so we um, obviously, you know. Tiffany, you're next. You're in the seat next. You oh, know that. Yeah, that's I'm- my girl too. But that you you knew her first. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, it's it's yeah, just absolutely. a lot of work I see that you guys put into it. it. You know, it is because my thing is, um, as an artist, um, I'm very, I, I tend to be because I I am, um. An entrepreneur, CEO yes. of, uh, of of things here and there. So, but foremost, I am an artist. Right. But um, I can sometimes be a little bit particular the things that I do. Okay. And uh, especially when it comes to my performances, mm-hmm. um, you don't see me everywhere mm-hmm. constantly. But when you do see me, it's like boom, bang. Like you it's said, big, show you know, up and show out. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's you know it's pretty. And I'm not saying that can I can only do big you know arenas no, and but sell out you over should. five thousand people in the crowd. Why I'm not? not just saying, but I'm just saying like <laughs> I, I'm just not. I'm, not? I just get very particular and mm-hmm. how often I go on. You know, because I like to, um, I don't like to do repeat stuff. Mm. You know, I don't like to. You're not uh, a boring kind of girl. I don't want to be yeah. like last week. I have one show here and the next week, you know, or 
you know, there's so there's so, there's only so many songs that I have yeah. that I can sing the same. You know, how many songs do you have? Wow. I have a catalog of so many songs. What I've been again, promo- you said that. You said that, you know, th- a lot of people don't know this and they need to know this. You are an artist. Yes. You are the CEO of your brand. Could yes. be UTV. Yes. Which hits red carpets everywhere. Yes. And I mean everywhere. I, I love you, New York, but she's everywhere. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about like, oof. I'm yeah, like, a, Thank like you. a GPS with you. Like, yeah. <laughs> she's there. She's there. We, need, we definitely need that. Yeah. But you also do photography. And I you dabble think- a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm actually starting to, um, you know, w- w- actually, there's one of my majors when I went to high school. Mm-hmm. Um, I chose to go to, you know, I mean, for those of you that know or don't know, you know, I, I was... Um, I was born and raised in East New York, Brooklyn. Hey, that's, <laughs> so we're from the same place, right? <laughs> so, um, shout out to the East, <laughs> right? Uh, shout out, right? But um, you know, I I didn't choose to go to my zone school, so yeah. I decided to go uh, into the city. Mm-hmm. At you know, like 14 years old, here I am, like, yeah. by myself taking the train every day um, to fashion industry. Yeah, but we're from East New York, Brooklyn. <laughs> that's why we didn't go to school in the area, <laughs> right? So here is this, you know, so um, fashion industry mm-hmm. is like right in the fashion. Um, district which um, catered to exactly that mm-hmm. so um, I took up uh, photography mm-hmm. you know um, that that was like one of my majors my other majors was fashion design believe it or not Duh. I was uh, I don't know why I didn't continue but it was it was fun um, it was fun but I didn't do great because I think I failed one class and I had to go to summer school only because I, I didn't sew something right <laughs> I was sewing and there was like a sewing. Uh, I failed a sewing class. So I needed assuming. somebody to sew for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. You went, I you tried, and you said no. I couldn't find do- somebody to do it for me. Probably one of the girls that went to school with you. So, but, but but funny it is, you know. So it was cool because we got to. Um, uh, make and we got to model at fashion our own stuff that we mm. made you know so that was cool so um, I did dab a little bit in photography I'm mm-hmm. um, beginning to pick it up a little bit only because I know what is that I like as an me eye, as a right. model what I like and how I look and you know I'm, I work with photographers and I'm usually telling them what to do and how to do it See, only because I know how me, you know, but that's just personally me, you know. So I, I'm gonna I, bring you with me next time. Be like, tell me how to do no, it. so no, <laughs> no, but it's just something that I like to be not. I like mm-hmm. everybody to be natural. Yeah. I, I don't like poses. I don't like to be hard. I just want so you know. I'm trying to be creative with things, and I and I have so many ideas, mm-hmm. and so I dabble a little bit in that. So, um, but I have so many things going on that I don't really. I can't focus on that, but when I have a chance or two, yeah. I like to pick up my camera and I like to fool around with it and like to, you know, beautiful so. Thing. Mm-hmm. It's, you're very multi-talented and I I'm just tried. like, <laughs> this woman. And I'm so proud. Get over here. She's a Puerto Rican. I love it. Yes, I keep saying it because it's, I'm very proud of my Thank Latinas. You. I'm proud of what you do and you are exactly what these young girls need to look at and say, listen, you're one of those, you know, you're, you're one of those women that even myself, I look and I'm like, wow, go ahead. You know why you give us the inspiration Aww, to want to do you. those things and, and be beautiful and, and shine and without having to step on anybody, without having to be like your heart genuinely is amazing. Thank you. You have always <laughs> been, you know, and it's funny because when we first started talking, we clashed. Woo! That's how true it is. We clashed. <laughs> so I was like, who is she? And whatever. But it wasn't like that. You know, right. we had our, our thing. But I s- grew so much to love you in a way that, like I said, I do admire you. And I say, wow, oh, in a thank good, you. I blessed you. way. You inspire women, girls to be positive, beautiful, and like you just said, natural. Just be yourself. Thank you. And a lot of people are too busy that. trying to alter everybody else. No, you got to do this and do that and be something else that you're not instead of accepting them for the way that they are and kind of give them, you know, that nurturing like you yeah, do. You know, so you give that nurturing. You give that, you know. I, I try, but, you know, also that comes from I have to give a very, very big, big special shout out to mm-hmm. my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, without them, you know, and the love and the support, yeah, I wouldn't be family. able to do what I do yep. because, you know, if you don't have a good solid uh, support, system. support system at home, then it's hard to to go forward and do what you Absolutely. love to do and your passion and all that. Mm-hmm. So I, I really want to give a big shout out to um, Gianni, Tiani, and Richie. This for, whole uh, family is a family of talent, <laughs> yes. 
gorgeous like they're like a model little family like I want to put you on a magazine and like you're like toma because you guys are all talented your daughter could sing her yes, off she's amazing your son is like a GQ model yes he is alright he's beautiful <laughs> he's handsome he's talented yes. your husband runs the world love him <laughs> love him he absolutely you does know, that's I mean, right. Rich, you're the man who runs the world yeah. <laughs> Listen, Absolutely. you guys are beautiful, and it's it's a beautiful thing, you know, Thank to you. have people show that there is family values, that yes. there's the support is there, and oh my God, you guys like literally are doing your thing. Yes. Thank you. When are we expecting? Now you have who's that girl? I do have that it's girl. It's on all platforms. It's all platforms. A video, please go check it out on YouTube. Yes. Um, it's one of my latest uh, projects. Right. Um, it came out m- mid. June, let me mid summer last, you know, so it hasn't been a year yet that it's out. Um, and your boy on it uh, featured, yeah, featured um, A King. Mm-hmm. He's on that, and uh, he also produced the song as well. He did. So, okay. uh, shout out to him. But the um, video was great. I mean, your style. Can I tell you that the Bob, the, the blonde uh-huh. girl, yeah. you rocked. I'm not used to you with that. I so know. So when I saw you, I was like, who's that? Exactly. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? <laughs> Who's that you girl? know why I use that line. Who's that like, girl? But you just you rocked it. That not many women could do that. Like all yeah. kinds of. But you rocked it. The song yeah. is awesome. What inspired you to make this song? So, you know what? One day uh, I was telling my boy Parker. So shout out to Parker as well. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of people to shout out, huh? That's all right. Uh, so That's love. I was telling him that 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 I need a song. That it's something you know that to to identify who I am. You know. Um, something and I just like brainstorming. I was like, "What is it? I, I don't know." Something just came over me, and I remember um, Madonna's "Who's That Girl," yes, and um, I listened to it. I'm like, "Oh my god!" I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh my god!" That's I it. told him, "I said that's it. Like, Who's <laughs> that girl? We're gonna do a remake of Who's That Girl. I gotta do it." I like, and I'm telling him. Um, and around that time, I had met um, Aiken, the producer, and I was telling him the idea. He mm-hmm. was like, I-, "I got you, girl. Don't worry about yeah. it." Like that. And he it took him about a week or so, but he came up with the beat. He came up awesome. actually. He came up with every. He came up with the melody. He came, and all I did, you know, I came up with. We just kind of like used the. You the collaborated. Hook. We right. kind of ho- came with the hook on you know, "Who's That Girl," which because the song is totally different than Madonna. Yes. Um, but she was an, an, an it was inspired mm-hmm. from that. So it's just exactly that because every time I did go somewhere or I I went I did hear the whispers who's like uh, who's that girl <laughs> or who's that or or who is she or you know uh-huh. it was always like those whispers and I'm like okay no problem like you know I it's I come great. in different you know I and like I remember to, you telling me here too and you're like oh you know I'm inspired by this and I was like all right and then like literally yeah like two weeks later there yeah. you go I was like go ahead girl well that's my thing when I want something I'm like boom I'm relentless like I need Hello. to do you know like sometimes I lax you know mm-hmm. sometimes I get lazy sometimes no. I'm too you know and I'm not doing anything and I don't really but you know once I get something in my head so like what we're working on right now mm-hmm. it's just like uh-uh this is you know like forget it so I can't I, I'm I'm actually um went in my feet into something a little bit different I was than just what gonna ask people. you you got a little bit more I know I, I feel it cause you know I, I, well I see you know things. uh <laughs> So I, am I feeling a little am, Latina more coming out? It's more Latina and more also, um, I'm going more on the urban hip hop side of it. Oh yeah, you know, mm-hmm. only because I feel that a lot of um, a lot of my followers, a mm-hmm. lot of my networking, a lot of my music uh, kind of caters to the younger, um, a little, a little yeah. younger of the generation, mm-hmm. the, you know, and the millennials. Yeah, so um, that's definitely something that um, that I'm looking forward to um, working on. I'm yeah. looking forward to it too. So, you know, we got to bring you back. I wish that we could stay even longer and longer and longer. But I have to tell you, thank you so much, Linda. Oh, I appreciate thank you. you and everything you're doing. Thank I got to you get so on much. my I got to get back on my fours, you know, which not my my hands and knees, but in my car. <laughs> well, that's another, there, yeah, that's another show. That's another show. show. <laughs> and I got to get to you ASAP to see one of you. I know you have more shows coming up. Yes. I know um, spring is coming and you're always again everywhere so where <laughs> where are we gonna see you next Florida Puerto Rico where are you going next well it all depends where uh, the show takes me you mm-hmm. know there's so many uh, yes I have a, a stop you know even um, I, I heard uh-huh. <laughs> I heard um, Nashville oh. you know yep something different awesome. out of the norm I'm kind of looking forward to that So a lot of people are going down to Texas they're going you know everybody's doing the Florida stuff yeah. but they, I feel like now people are kind of like spanning out they're like going different places I see a lot of California I see a lot of um, 
um, Texas. I see people just going elsewhere. So, you know, mm-hmm. uh, Canada. So I'm like, I'm about to jump on board because yeah, I've done wherever, the floor. Yeah. I've done all that stuff. We, I need to, like, need to explore. We need yes. to explore. Your yes. Life is short. We spoke about this before. Life is short. And we really yes. need to get out there and just explore because it's more than where you literally sit at, yeah, you know? Basically. So, yeah. So my viewers, our viewers, when can they catch you, which is here on Strong Island? Okay, well, definitely you can catch me every Tuesday at 9 p.m. right here on Strong Island TV. And um, definitely um, go on Facebook and follow the show on Could Be You TV. Like it, follow it, and share. And Linda Lynn, where is your, your IGs for you and your your company? For so, uh, for me as an artist, is Linda Lynn. You can find me on all platforms, L-I-N-D-A-L-I-N-N. And for the show is Could Be B-U-T-B. And if you guys don't follow her, I'm going to follow you. <laughs> no, you got to figure it You heard it from her. Yeah, I ain't I, I'm going to get you because this woman is talented. She's always, I mean, your pictures are flawless. You're flawless, which is oh, like, you see it there wow. and you're like, oh, this and that. But when you see her in person, it's, uh, it's, it's that. It's not one of those like, what do you call it? Pechuga cuando dicen. Like, you look like a, you know. <laughs> It's a, it's a Spanish thing. Anyway. <laughs> but mommy, thank you so much for thank everything. You. Also, one more thing before we leave. Let them know where is the music. Where can they go directly to either download, purchase, or look forward to the next ones coming? All, all my music is always it is available on all music platforms, on Apple Music, iTunes. Um, Spotify. You can, Spotify it, you can uh, Google it, you can title it, you know. Google her, that's a good idea. I used to say that all the time, <laughs> Google her, all right? And then you definitely find everything there, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're both here each and every Tuesday night. I'm so grateful. I'm so tired, people. I do apologize. It's been a long time, but I love you all so very much. I have more stuff, but we're going to have to wait till next week. Tuesday night, catch me here. Love you. Peace, love, and light. Good night.